Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and uh, YouTube, and I have uh, playlists on my channel with all of the leak code and hacker rank solutions. I've got tons of them up, so please go check those out. And uh, we're doing another hacker rank one here because I'm preparing for interviews. So this one is called Strings Making Anagrams. Um, Gail Lockman McDowell, really an advocate of hacker rank here. She's got videos on almost all of these questions, especially in this interview preparation kit. I think she must have made it or something. Um, so Alice is in cryptography class and finding out anagrams to be useful. Uh, two strings are anagrams of each other if the first string's letter can be arranged to form uh, the second string. So in other words, both strings must contain the same exact letters at the same exact frequency, meaning each letter in the string of each word has to have the same um, you know, a number of occurrences in that string. So we could see, by example, that BACDC and DCBAC are anagrams because they have the exact same letters, 1A, 1B, 1C, one, no, 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 two Cs. Yeah, we see two Cs in both of them, and then 1B. So it's the same number of occurrences in each string. Uh, but these are not because you see two Cs here and not two Cs here, right? Um, so Alice decides to on an encryption scheme involving two large strings where encryption is dependent on the minimum number of characters, uh, character deletions required to make two strings anagrams. So can we find the minimum number of deletions for her? Um, given two strings, A and B, uh, that may or may not be the same length, determine the minimum number of character deletions required to make A and B anagrams. Uh, any character can be deleted from either of the strings. For example, A equals C, D, C. Okay, you, you, get the, you get the point. We're just finding the minimum number of deletions to make these strings anagrams. Um, so the, my first instinct when I was reading this problem was to have a hash map because we're dealing with uh, string frequencies, letter frequencies. So I was going to have a hash map with characters and then the number of times that each character occurred. And then I was going to do the difference between the number of times those characters occurred. Um, you don't actually need to do that. What Here's, I guess, my advice on a problem like this with strings and what you should check is because I'm seeing this more and more as I do these problems. Think about having an array containing only each uh, letter in the alphabet, so an array of size 26, and then having counters stored in there. There's a lot of these string problems I'm seeing where the, you actually just use an array of size 26 and you deal with only the let. When you think about how you can, just thinking of having the number 26 in mind when you're doing a string problem, I think will be really useful. So I actually looked up the editorial, how you do it. I'm gonna go over the solution right now. So basically all we have to do to find the minimum number of swaps, uh, not min swaps, it's called, um, what is it, deletions, minimum number of deletions. So min deletions will just set to uh, zero right now because we need no deletions yet. Uh, and then you have your arrays, right? So I'm going to call the first array A frequencies because the first string is called A. Um, and it's going to be size 26 for each letter in the alphabet. And then we're going to have a second array called B frequencies. These are new ints, uh, size 26 every letter in the alphabet. And these are gonna store our counter for each letter because there's only 26 letters in the alphabet. So when we see a letter um, in A, when we loop through A, we're gonna see the current letter. We're gonna increment that counter in the A array. And when we loop through B, if we see a certain letter, we're gonna increment that counter in the B array. And then we're going to loop through both of them at the end, which is even easier. You don't have to do like a double for loop through both the, the arrays at the end because they're size 26. So you just have one for loop, uh, size 26, um, from I to zero to 26, and you're going to calculate the difference at each character counter value um, using math.abs, the difference um, in the counts, and then that difference will give you the exact, you're gonna have min deletions plus equals that difference. So you're just gonna increment min deletions by the difference at each character counter. And um, by the end of that, you will have the minimum number of deletions you need for the anagrams. Uh, so that's the whole algorithm right there. Let's just implement it really quick. So from i to a.length, 
um, I++, we will just get the current character, current char is equal to A dot char at I. Um, and then we will also need the char to int val because we need the ASCII val. This is like the tricky part and how I always have problems with this. Um, you're going to type cast your current character with int uh, of current char. So now we have the integer representation of that ASCII value, which is, um, you know, I think lowercase a is 97 and then it increases from there. So what all we have to do to actually get the value between 0 and 26 that the number, the position of that letter in the alphabet, we just have to subtract the ASCII value of a. So we will do put in position is equal to char to int minus the ASCII representation of the letter a. And now we have that exact position. The number between 0 and 26 will be position uh, in the A frequencies array that we can now set. So we'll just do A frequency of position plus plus. Increment the counter of that current letter. And then this is going to be the exact same for loop for our second string, B, uh, B frequencies, B, and, uh, you know, all the same stuff. Just make sure you have to, you know, modify your naming here. There we go, that's easy. So now the, these arrays both contain 20, the, all the letters in both of the strings and the count of each of the, how, how many times each letter occurs in the strings. So all we have to do now is one last loop from I to 26, all the letters in the alphabet. And we do, we calculate the difference at each letter. So difference is gonna be equal to math.abs of A frequencies of I minus B frequencies of I, or the other way around, doesn't really matter, because we're doing the absolute value. And then we just do min deletions, plus equals, difference. So at each iteration, we add the current difference in the counts, and then we just return uh, min deletions at the end, and that will be the minimum number of deletions, that'll be our answer. Hopefully this works first try. I just did it a minute ago, so. Let's see, there we go, passes all the test cases, let's submit it. There we go, we got 15 test cases, and we're going to pass all of them. I mean, I did watch Gail's video right before I made this, so, uh, but really good. Just keep in mind that when you do string problems, you might want to consider 26. Just keep the number 26 in mind. Um, it might be useful to use an array, some kind of technique where you account for just those letters in the alphabet, especially if you're doing character counts and stuff like that, so... Uh, that was strings making anagrams. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out the other videos. I got a ton of them. And um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.